Hey Scrappers, Tom from iScrap, and we want to talk about something smart, and that is not just you, but it's also your TV. As TVs have really progressed over the years, from going from the big bulky screens, to the flat screen TVs, to the smart TVs, that can give you access to things like Netflix and Hulu, and all other types of apps, they became smarter, and they also increased in their scrap value. So in front of me, I have an example of a smart TV. We took some of the screws apart, just to make it a little quicker here. But this unit already had the cord cut off the back of it. And once we see these units, some scrapyards will take these, some scrapyards will not, but there's a lot to keep in mind. Right off the bat, when you take this piece off, you got about a two pound piece of steel, so this can go into a separate bin. This is just gonna be plastic. Now you have this board here. You have all other types of boards that you wanna be able to look at. Now, one of the reasons that we know this is a smart TV compared to another type is just because of the types of boards that we see and some of the semiconductor chips that you can see on here that are going to work in a much smarter way. You also have other boards over here that are going to connect to the internet, wireless boards, and you also have, of course, little wires that you can clip off or tear away. This way you can make a couple of extra dollars because why sell them as is? Now, these boards are not hard to take off. You'd be able to take just a Phillips head screwdriver, dip some of these off, but one of the ways that you know that there's value on them is by looking here. Now this looks to be copper, but what I see with all these little processing chips is value. And by taking the screws off, we are fortunate that this is just a regular Phillips head. It's not a long process, and it's going to be some good scrap. Now things that you're going to want to think about when you're taking these apart, what do I do with the monitors when I'm done? Will my scrapyard take the monitor from me once I'm done with it? Or do I have to pay to get rid of it? Will my local town take it? These are all questions that you're going to want to find out before you start taking things apart very often because the more things you take apart, if you can't find homes for them, what's the point of taking them apart? Now here we are, this is nothing crazy, just ripping the board off. You have a bunch of wires that continue to be connected. You can see that a scrapper cut this off because it was easier to get it just the wire. But now you have a couple of boards, and if you took all four of these extra boards off, you probably have about a pound of boards. It might be worth $3 altogether. But by the time you take this apart, all you're going to have left is the monitor. Now this monitor, you don't want to throw this into the steel bin, you're definitely going to want to take this apart in a really environmentally friendly way, but you should be able to get rid of these at your local town recycling centers. They might charge you one or two dollars or take them for free. Do not throw these into your steel bins. These don't have lead dust like many of the old CRTs do, but they are glass and they could break and they could cause you problems. Now as you take these apart further, there will be another board inside, but these are some of the smart boards that we wanted to highlight that give you access to the internet and other things. Just by having a flathead screwdriver, most of these can get taken apart very easily within a matter of two to three minutes. And not only will you have the boards, you also have a couple of pieces of steel. Let us know other things that you scrap or that you think that we can scrap better. Until next time, I'll scrap you later. Thanks for checking out our scrap videos. By becoming a Patreon supporter today, you'll be entered into monthly giveaways for tools and other products to help you make more money with your scrap. Ha <laughs> ha